Hello. Can you hear me? Am I too loud? <laughs> Always too loud. If I hold this back some, maybe that'll work. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Um Is that better? Turn it up a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more volume out of it. <clears throat> Testing, one, two, three, four. One day I will get this straight. It'll work right every time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you think I was like, okay, I turned everything off. Oh no. Uh, oh, look, it's nighttime. <laughs> Pretty music, isn't that cool? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli1961, dancing my way into your hearts again tonight. Uh, sorry we uh, we couldn't make it on Friday night, but thought Saturday night, well, let's give us a shot and see how it goes. So we are back live in Atlas, and we are in a very special place. Um <laughs> As you all know, I've been playing on Indecent Queen's uh, servers. Certainly, check the link out in the description below. Check them out. It's an awesome place to play. They have just expanded their servers. In fact, I was in a stress test today, and it worked really good. Uh, but one of the really cool places is that I want to make sure I have featured in this video tonight is the new Freeport. And look at <laughs> This is the entrance into this thing. It is, oh my God, it's so amazing. Um, yes, I came down here and it's like, everybody was saying, you got to go to the new Freeport. You got to go to the new Freeport. So I came down and wow, that is, let's adjust the game a little bit. Since it's dark outside, that's freaking awesome. 
And that's not all. That's just the beginning. That's just, I was flying around the aisle and I saw the skulls. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, well, where's the free port? How do I get to it? And I noticed as I went to drop anchor that if you come around here, bum, bum, bum. It's really deep. So I said to myself, self, why would it be really, really deep here? And so I kind of could peer through the waterfalls and I said, hmm, I bet I could sail a ship in here. And I had my little sloop, which is going to be the featured piece tonight, is how to build this thing. And so I figured, well, I'm not going to, well, probably not going to run aground. Oh, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> So, uh, there are sharks in here. I, I, I've seen sharks. So, it's open to the ocean. Who knows what might be in here. Uh, keep looking. Make sure I don't get attacked. Because, you know, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this fair. Because, see, what the plan for tonight. This is the plan for tonight. Let's see. I think there's... Is there a beach over here? Let's try to get to the... So, the plan... Where's your sharks? Are there sharks? No sharks. Okay. The plan for... Focus. Focus. Okay, so the plan for tonight is, um, you know, in the first video where we started this adventure out, um, I built a little ship called the Ramshackled Sloop. And I said, whatever you do, don't build the raft, build the sloop, because, you know, it's it's a better situation. You, you've actually got sails and a keel, and you can steer it, and all kind of good stuff like that. So, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm working my way around. I'm trying to stay out of the water because I don't want to get eaten already. Um, but uh, so what I wanted to do is show you that that little sloop that you start out with, the very first ship that you built. Whoa. Oh, I hope I'm not in a hole. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Is, is actually something worth keeping and hanging on to. And I have to attribute this to a guy guy we used to play with uh and his name was toe jam he's so freaking cool he sounded like tommy chong or Cheech and chong you know for you wow that's a little bit glitchy um <laughs> no glitches in this game at all none um ah, don't fall through the map okay so uh anyway he he didn't he never built another boat except for his ramshackle sloop that's the only boat he did and he had every discovery point in official atlas and that's all he did was sail around that sloop. And and, he, and I asked him one time, I was like, dude, why don't you just like build a schooner or something? Yeah. Oh, that's a turtle. Turtles sound so terrifying in this game. Um, so, you know, why don't you build a big boat? I mean, people, we, 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 had, a, we had a small company. It wasn't like any, lots of resources. We had plenty of resources to build a bigger boat. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, I like my sloop. Because I can get into pretty much anywhere even if it's really shallow. And um, not that the bad guys won't attack it, but they tend to leave it alone. And I was like, no, nah, not really. And he's like, yeah, yeah, seriously. And so I went out sailing him one night, and and we, we covered a lot of the map in that thing, and nobody, none of the ships of the dam, nothing attacked us the whole time we were out there. And we were playing PvP, so it was like people would see it, and they go, they got nothing. And then leave us alone. Now, you know, I'm not going to say that if you're playing PvP that you'll never get blasted if you're in a sloop because it'll happen. But I was amazed. So I said, you know, let's take... Ooh, there's a boat down here. Squirrel. I don't think there's anything in here. Can't be. No, no, no. If you're swimming with sharks here, you'll like, get out of the water. All right, so... Yeah, so anyway... I thought, since we built the sloop to start with, we should retrofit it into something cooler. And so I did. But then I'd retrofitted it, and, and I was like, well, I should show people how to do this because it's, you know, something that they can do with theirs. And I think the game now, if you're buying, if you're building stuff, like schooners and things, you start going up the ladder, you got to actually pay gold to build these things i don't I, I yeah so i wanted to say well you know if you're going to get the sloop then why not 
See, this is so cool the way they picked this place up. This is our Freeport in the new quadrants. It's so amazing. It's got vendors all over the place. They did an awesome job with this. Look at how cool it looks. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter or something. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I could spend 20, 30 minutes running around in here. But basically, what I wanted to do is say, okay, let's go. Let's see from the start what it would take to go ahead and build a sloop. Brand new. We'll sail it over to my island that I have in this quadrant. And we'll, we'll, we'll retrofit it. It's not something that you can do straight off the bat. You know, because you got to get your skills up. You're, you're to get to the to, to everything that we're going to make tonight. Now, I'm 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 going to do this with as many non-modded parts as I can do. So don't don't look at my screen and say, "Well, I don't have all that stuff." You, it's because of the mods we're running. But you do have basic tools, and you do have cloth, and you do go to primitive construction. So you'll need to do that. Which you know you're going to unlock that when you start playing anyway. You're also going to have to unlock construction and merchantilism, which will unlock this button. And you'll go down the basic tool building and do down that path until you get down to, uh, where's it at? Bum, bum, bum. Unlock weaponry. You'll go build your tanning station, your metallurgy. Where is, oh, here we go. And so at, once you get down to this area here, you're going to unlock seamanship. When you unlock seamanship, you get down here, you can use basics of sailing, navigation tools, shipwright, and that's going to give you the ability to build, you know, uh, your docks and the setup for your ships. And this is where you want to get to, your medium speed sail. And you're going to want some things like a hook and uh, a lar food larder. And things like that but that's all going to come as you as you play the game you're going to get the basics of crew where you get the the food larder and the ship resource box so all that's going to come as you're playing so don't fret you'll get there by the time you're ready to do this um but yeah so let's let's go back to our inventory we got some wood and we got some thatch out of that tree that i tacked up just a minute ago how much do we need to build a sloop we need some fibers 225 fibers, 75 hide, and we got lots of wood. Okay, so what do I do about hide? Really, I've, I've just started playing. I, the, the pigs kill me every time I try to kill one of them. Well, here's the secret. You don't need to kill pigs. You know, when you get started off and you're just, you know, especially an official where there's no, no multiplier and none of that good stuff, make a spear. Make a bunch of spears, right? And, um... Jump in the water. Because these fish down here, um, you know, of course the manas are going to fight back. But these guys don't. So look for the tunas. Did I get him? Yep. So I got a tuna. Come on. Get out of the water here. Him over here. I think I can get up here. All right. Throw him on the bank and hack him up. Do you want to use your your hatchet? Because you get more skin with your hatchet than you are going to get with your pick. Um, and I'm you know rates on here are way high. Another reason to play on indecent queen servers. <laughs> Not sponsored, but I'm just saying. If you want to play the game and not have to go through all the grind of getting leveled up, uh, this is the way to do it. But anyway, okay, so you can get plenty of skin, which is the same thing as hide, from fish. You don't have to go fight the boars. You don't have to try to fight a tiger or nothing like that to get get hide for your bed. And uh, Just go get some fish. Kill them. They're easy. They don't fight back. All right, so we got plenty of stuff. I'll leave the rest of that for the birds or whatever eats them when you don't get them off <laughs> the decay monster all right come on let me get up here uh oh rats come on wave nope 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 uh, there's got to be a wave around here somewhere all right yeah we'll go out here there's probably waves out here come on get me up here 
There we go. Caught it. Okay, so now what do I need now? Uh, fibers. So we gotta get put some get some fibers. Yeah, see they they gave us somebody better than that fat dumpy guy that was on the ship right on the regular. <laughs> uh, okay, so what can I get to? It's got fiber. Do I have any fiber down here? We don't have any fiber down here that I can get to. Hmm. Huh. Oh, oh, I know where I can go. I, I see. I've been exploring. Hey there, Getty. How's it going? <laughs> Doing pretty good here tonight. How about you? All right, so yeah, so I've been doing some exploring, and you can actually get out. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna go over here. We just got so, this place is so cool. Um, let's see. This way? Is it this way? No, that's not this way. We're gonna. I'm sure there will eventually be like vendors and stuff all over the place down here because a lot of people are scoping this island out. You can't settle here. But um, but it's gonna get more traffic as time goes by. Cause right now we just they just added the extra servers, so people are kind of exploring and looking for islands that they might want to get uh, in the new areas. So whoa, don't want to go that way. <clears throat> so they're not um not um just hanging out in the comment sections as much. Yeah, I know work kind of gets you that way doesn't it so this is cool this is water this is flesh f flesh fresh not flesh water fresh water um there's two of those at least two of those i've seen in here but anyway okay we're going out here we got to get some fiber to pay the dock dude to get us a, a, a sloop. sloop there should be some fibers out here we can pick some grass there's fibers this way ba -ba -ba. I don't know why I'm huffing and puffing. I got young again the last, let's see, how old am I now? 35 years old. Ah, see, starting to get a beer gut, I think, probably. Okay, we got to get some, where's, oh, there we go. We need some bushes. We put some bushes, we'll get some fiber. There's some straw. And like I said, the rates are way high here, but, you know, y'all don't want to watch me pick bushes for an hour and a half anyway, so that works out well. Okay, so we should have enough stuff to build our sloop. We are halfway there. <laughs> we're going to get this thing built, and then we're going to go do some exploring because there's a lot of this map that i got to do some exploring on, especially since they added all the new stuff. Um, ba -ba. Back to the ship dude. See, they got stuff all back in there. They got vendors here. They get the like the seed vendor and the costume vendor and the ship skin vendors and I mean this is this is just looks so cool. Oh, see, there's the other side. Excuse me. There's the other side of the waterfall. <laughs> uh, Dax, what's up? Starting now. Well, you know, I'm trying to to do. I'm, I'm trying to show how to do something. If you were just starting out. So I've kind of, you know, I, I, I stripped down to my skivvies. Where's, where's my guy? There he is. I've stripped, stripped down to skivvies and just like basic stone tools just so we could get this part going. And, uh, yeah, so that everybody can see that you, you can do it. It's not that, it's not hard. It's really not hard. It's a little bit of a grind. But if you're going to get the parts for a raft, um, you've almost got the parts for a sloop, so why bother? Is my motto. Okay, so here we go, dude. Um, access shop. Now he can give me. Now see, I don't even need to build a dock. He's gonna. Tada me a schooner. Come on, tada me one. There, see, tada. Now we're gonna name this one. Uh. Not afraid because we're not going to be afraid in this okay so not afraid is out there and it's got the basic stuff now if i had some gold i could go up to the crew dude that's over here you know the one that kind of looks like tom cruise with the eye patch this guy um yeah a lot more muscular than tom cruise he likes to throw his pecs out for some reason i don't know what the deal is with that but you know i'm not impressed anyway if i had a little bit of gold on me 
playing this lately, so I run more. Yep, yep, I get you, Yeti. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm starting to get a beer cut. Oh, 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 that was what I was starting. Okay, I got you now, Dax. I don't really drink a whole lot anymore. I just, you know, it's, and no, I don't drink less. What, what is it that you don't, don't drink less? You drink more? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, you know. Uh, yeah, so if I had gold, I could buy some crew people, and I could get two of them, and they could sell my ship for me but i don't have any gold because i'm trying to do this like you just start out on the island and you're not going to have it because there's no you used to be able to dig up gold i don't think you can do it anymore but anyway so here we are we got our boat and we're going to go over here and we're going to get on it yes we are on our boat okay so probably when you get this boat one of the things you're going to want to do is put a bed on it um i'm not right now because i've got all the pieces and parts that i want to use for the retrofit at my base so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this thing over there. And you can see, you'll be able to see, it's really not that, I mean, it's got this, it comes standard with two small sails and no crew, which is a pain in the butt to start with. But you know, it's not that bad. Um, what I, because you can just look at your sail. Uh, <laughs> I don't like to do that. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Um, this wind is going that way, so we're going to just lower it a little bit. And then we're going to jump off, and we're going to get our wheel. And we're going to tugboat out of here. Um, so yeah, it's not too hard to just sail the thing by yourself. It's just, you know, it'd be a whole lot easier if you have crew. Because when you play have crew, you can put them on the sails, and then you can tell them which way to turn with just a couple of, uh, keystrokes instead of just, you know, running back and forth between the sails and turning them yourself. <laughs> yeah, at a certain age, the beer, beer gut does not require any beer. You are correct. See, it doesn't... Well, I don't say it doesn't help. It is... Yeah. See, not a may keeps me well fed. So, yeah, the, the gut, whether it's beer or, or whatever, bread, <laughs> is kind of just going to happen. Uh, all right, let's get us some more wind here. We're going to do the whole pop it open feel and we're going to get in here and we're going to steer and hopefully get out of here without running anything so yeah it's um, pretty quickly on the free port because you're you know best thing if you're a brand new player and you're starting the game out is to spawn at a free port because it's kind of the starter area and you can kind of get used to all the stuff that's going on with the game but that's this is the thing you want to get you don't want to get the raft the raft doesn't have really uh, i would say any purpose in the game it is it sucks <laughs> and you're basically going whatever way the wind blows and while pretty much nothing will attack you because you got nothing on a raft um you're gonna go wherever the wind blows and you're not really gonna have it's it steers like it just doesn't uh, it's just it's just awful okay so we have our ram ram shackle sloop if you build a sloop it's gonna be a sloop it's gonna be a better better quality but the ram shackle's fine it does does good all right we are see there's bad guys out there and we are going to open this other sail up see this is a little bit of a annoyance um and we are going to go to the left, I believe. Yes, we will be going to the left. So we're going to go... Um, we'll turn the sail this way. Because that's where the wind's going to be hitting us. Okay. All right, let's get on the wheel. We have our... Do we have one going backwards and one going forwards? That's cute. Okay. Oh, nope. I think we got it. We got it. We're going just, we're just going dead into the wind. That's the problem. All right. See that island straight across there? Uh, to our, a little bit to our left. That's not the one we're going to. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 
No, he's making fun of me having a beer gut. Getty. <laughs> the escape beatings from Ma, no chances. Yeah, you know. Well, see, when I started playing video games <laughs> back in the day, um, I, I had a friend who had a radio tandy which they bought at radio shack which people probably today would go what's a radio shack um trs 80 they called them trash 80s that was kind of like the first home computer before the commodore 64s and and all that stuff um the drive was a cassette deck that's where you saved your stuff and um let's get some just these sales real quick and get 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 going get to getting here um because these guys up here are red ships and if they do decide to engage they're gonna hit hard um so i'm gonna try to kind of skirt the island over here yeah see he's turning he didn't care about me just a little old sloop he doesn't care they ain't gonna come over here and check me out okay so yeah i had a trash 80 well i didn't have it my friend had it my best friend uh, his dad um, bought one and so he uh, <laughs> we would we would buy these books they're like um, yeah I don't go code books and you would type in the code for the game and it would take hours or days we would like go to his basement and, and type basic for you know a day and a half to be able to play pong or asteroids and um yeah that's how that's where i got started playing computer games because you know my parents said well yeah my pretty much said video games are a fad they're never going to catch on um that's just stupid so you're wasting your time with those computer things <laughs> yeah look who's laughing now your neighbor had one they were uh, man, when you got on one of those things, you felt like you were the the most uh, elite computer guru because you were able to type in code and make something happen. And uh, yeah, and then we were we'd spend three days debugging the code that we accidentally put a semicolon instead of a colon or a comma instead of a period, and we finally get it straight and be able to play the game. So, so yeah, then pretty much from that point forward I just kind of played video games to piss off my parents and, <laughs> and I'm still doing it I'm 60 years old <laughs> uh, yeah that was back in the day where you put your phone onto the little modem clip so that it would pick up if you were gonna do a modem thing which most people didn't have that accessory but my friend's dad was an engineer and he was, that was his thing, man. So. All right, we can barely see in the distance. I think that is, yes, that is the next island that we're going to. Ba -ba -ba. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's so when you get this thing, it is not the most speedy boat out there because these little, they're fine, the little small speed sails to start with. But we're going to upgrade. And you'll see the difference. Cousin for breaking that radio with the deck, with the deck. How'd you break a radio with a deck of cards? Did you just shove the cards in the speaker slots or something? <laughs> I never gave the cards back. I wouldn't either. Break my radio, dang it. Is it like a radio, like a radio radio? Are you listen to music on, or like a shortwave ham radio? I always wanted to get one of those. I thought that'd be cool. Oh, see, there's a box over there. If you want to get gold early game, those boxes, you know, you just hook them and drag them in. They'll give you a little bit of gold. 
Um, yeah, we'll eventually get, you know, on our trip out when we go, because that's the deal tonight. We're going to get the boat. We're going to get it refitted, retrofitted, and then we're going to go exploring and we're going to get us some gold and we're going to get us some resources and do some uh, exploration points. Because every one of these islands gets you points that you can level your character up for. And if you hit a certain level, you have to go to more islands or else you can't level up anymore. And I'm there, so I have to go exploring. You did exactly that. <laughs> See, I know the kind of rainy you're talking about. Uh, been there. See, there's shipwreck over there. We'll be able to dive that because this boat's going to have that functionality to it. Just a little old sloop that, that nobody wants. Half, half the people when they get in this game will, as soon as they can build a bigger boat, are going to build a bigger boat. And, I, you know, building bigger boats is fun. I built all of them. Um, and mostly solo, which building a galleon in this game on official solo is, <laughs> is insanity. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, then you, you go to explore an island and it's got a huge uh, shallow area around it and you <laughs> you beat your ship or you you haul it out as you're going into a cove and the next thing you know, you've spent a week putting together a ship that disintegrates in front of your eyes and you're like, eh, if you lose this, you lose it. But a lot of people will take these boats and, and either scuttle them for parts or just abandon them and let them decay because there's a decay feature in the official and they'll just let them go and i'm like that's such a waste it's such a good little boat it's fun to sail it it actually you know some of these big boats you get they just cut through the wa the waves like you know they don't even rock the boat at all and these little boats i mean you feel like you're in a boat because it, it'll roll all over the place if you're just doing this uh, first-person view, it it feels like almost like you're sailing. Video games come a long way, let me tell you. Uh, I mean, right, but one day we burn the dogs a little. <laughs> what is it about making cooks? <laughs> you guys were hellions, weren't you? <laughs> Break his radio, burn his doghouse down, burn the kitchen down, man. <laughs> Alright, let's zoom out. I don't want anybody following me over here and wrecking my day. Uh I gotta see how to get into this where's where's my little base here? Let's zoom in some. We'll go to the large atlas. See, that's how many islands <laughs> we now have. All these islands out here are there for exploring. Exploring. And, um, yeah, I'm down here. I want to get into the right part of my island where I have... Where's that? Uh, don't let me hit anything. Am I at the wrong island? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong place. Duh. That's why. I'm going to run right into a rock doing this. Okay, so we need to go to the left. To the, yeah, to the right. Not the left. The other left. The right. And go into this little inlet here. Now, I can shoot that gap right there. Because <laughs> I did it this morning. But it was really tight, and I got stuck for a second, so I'm not doing that again. I'm going to go around the little outcrop of rocks. Because I have my fully built one, and that's what we're going to go explore now. Once I show you show how to build this thing, um, it's, it's gets, it gets heavy. And you need to level it up a little bit be able, to be able to really move. So we'll swap to the other boat before we go exploring so that we don't, you know, do this. Barely crawl through the water. <laughs> I 
Yeah, grandmas don't usually like it when you burn their kitchen down. See, let's check the map. Gonna get around the cove and into there. That doesn't really show the bed. It does. Okay. All right, I'm going the right way. That's that's a plus. We come around this corner here. I had one of uh, this island here when I was playing official, just because it's hard to get in and out of. I mean, it's not terrible. There's some really, really bad ones, but... The problem with official PvP is if anybody finds your boat while you're offline, they can sink it. And that's just makes your day really miserable. Which is why I enjoy playing here. Because it's PvP. PvE. PvE. Yes, PvE. And there's lots of places to explore, plenty of places to build. And, um great people to play with and go over here whoops right yep this way turn my stuff I don't know where my bear is that's what I want to know I got a bear this morning is that him no that's a pig and he took off I don't know where he went um and I named him Yogi but yeah he's not here anymore all right so we're gonna we're gonna just slowly we don't want to hit that stop there Okay, so we're here. I'm going to adjust things a bit. Because this is a pain in the butt. But we're going we're gonna to fix it. Uh, close. Yep. And we're going to close this one. Close. And then we're going to pull the anchor up for a second and back in so we can get in and out of here. This back ladder that we got is only going to be functional for a little while longer. And then it's going to be like an appendix has no purpose but I can't take it off it doesn't you can't you can't disassemble that one I don't think I've never seen anybody to do it all right so let's just back right in here come on turn 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 turn, turn a little bit more you can do it come on turn. you know I can swim out that far but why 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 bother when you can get almost up to the shore you know, let's just back up because this isn't working well. We're just going to back straight up and drop in. Perfect. Look at that. It just, it's, it's awesome. Okay. Awesome driving job. Okay. Now for the fun part. We're going to strip her down. <laughs> uh, the sale goes away. Bye bye, sale. The wheel goes away. Bye bye wheel. And this sail goes away. All right. So now we got kind of a blank canvas to work on, but we're not finished. Because here's the secret. All this right here, you can disassemble too. Pretty much most of it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go right in the center of the ship. And we're going to go, doink. See ya. And that exposes that area down there. Which is important because to fit everything we're going to want to fit, uh, we're going to need that space. So we're going to come on down here. We're going to pop that one off. And then we're going to pop this one off. <laughs> yes, I know, Dax. I realize that. Now, some of these are going to end up back where they started. Um, but... For now, they will not be here. And I think we'll take this one off too. Square suit. Yes. Yes. We are 
straight down. Okay, we're gonna leave this part. Now, when we get done, I'll tell you that it, this, how I do this part up here is kind of, you know, optional. I like to be able to get out both ends of my boat because <laughs> who knows what's going on next. Uh, so I've got access to get in and out of here pretty much on this end and in the center um, when we get done. But for now, take this one up and there we go. So we have all this, this room. See how much room we have. Um, I really don't want to fall down in there because I might get stuck. What we're going to have to do to be able to use this space is, and anybody who's played Atlas knows how to do this. So I'm not, I'm not like divulging a super secret thing. Um, but we're going to make a wall. Um, I've got a lot more options on walls because we've got so many mods on the server. And I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that because I can pick them up. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to go ahead and make a vanilla wall here. Okay, so we'll just make a wall. Come on. And that's going to pop into our inventory here. Now, I have all these pieces already made, so we won't be doing this for the whole path. But the way you build in Atlas is a lot like you build in um, uh, Conan. Uh, where a wall is also a window and a door and a half wall. We're going to put a half wall right. No, we're not. We're going to put a half wall. Oops. See, we went, we went too far. We got too far. Um, we're going to put a half wall. It won't go in here. Put it there. That's where we need. Right there. So we gotta put a we gotta put a regular ceiling in first. And I don't have enough stuff to make one. Okay. Yep. So first lesson. <laughs> don't go all the way to the back. I got this. It's okay. We're we're gonna be fine. Actually, you do go all the way to the back. What you don't want to do is go all the way to the front, because that's where you gotta latch in. Alright, so see I have all my pieces and they have the little spuck. Um, octopus there because these are the only difference between the spuck pieces basically and the regular pieces is I can pick these up um, and official once you put it down you got a few seconds to pick it up and then and you, then it's then you got to demolish it and you know if I have the option to pick it up later I want to be able to do that so we're gonna, we're gonna put a ceiling tile in here so we're, we're, we're basically starting now we have a, a blank canvas we have this the ship now don't take apart this this piece because you'll yeah then you have to build a new deck and don't start taking apart these pieces because then you'll sink um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece on right like that okay and now now we can put this piece on and we can make it a half wall boom and then the magic happens we're gonna take and we're gonna run Ceiling tiles. Dang it. No. I hate it when that happens. The problem with picking them up is when you first place them, <laughs> uh, it, it's, it has to heal. <laughs> and if I, and I can't just pick it up till it's healed. So I have to let that sit for a minute. But anyway, so we get all the way back to the back. And then what we want to do is we want to transform this into a triangle. So it fits nice and neat back here. We can get to all of our planks to fix them if they get broken. You can get around here by crouching and get around there. Um, is this healed up yet? It is not healed up yet. Okay. Um, so and then you can basically jump up and get out of here. Okay. So now we've got all this, this room underneath that you know you're like oh okay cool why well we're going to basically build a houseboat now one of the things that we're going to put on this thing i told you we would be diving shipwrecked right so we're going to want to do that all right getty take care <laughs> thanks for coming by for a in the morning 
Uh, okay, so we're gonna. I don't think I built one of these yet. Let me see. I, don't, I might have built it. Uh, uh, new. We need a diving platform because we don't put that on first. It kind of dictates where everything else goes because it can only go one, well, two places, either side of the boat at one particular location. So we're going to make a diving platform in our smithy, which by the time you're ready to do this, you're going to have a smithy. Just a regular diving platform, not one of these rail things that they added. All right, so we're going to go out here. We're going to put our diving platform on. Diving platform. See, it'll only go right here or right there. One or two places it'll go. So we're going to put it on this side. Boom. Done. All right. And the reason you want to put it down first is you want to figure out exactly where it's going to be because that's where the, the, the houseboat piece is going to have to be split kind of in the middle. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sides. Now these, these are going to be... Bring the wolves there. Yeah. We're gonna need our walls and our ceiling and our uh, roof pieces. So we'll get those. Bum, bum, bum. Roof pieces, walls. So we got all our pretty much all of our building materials. Okay. So that we're gonna go out here and we're gonna start building. Okay. Now I think I can take this one up. Now, right? Yep. Pick up. All right. See how much space we have down here? All right. Um. So we're gonna take. This is what. Yeah. No. Will not work this way. We have to put. Here. And uh, we're going to put a wall here. And we're going to put a wall there. Okay. So now what that will allow us to do is now I have a place I can attach this roof piece. All right. Come on. Attach. Snap. Changing the snap points. Snap there. I want to snap here. Come on. Don't jump off the ship like that, because that, you know, just gets you wet. Let's just go over here. Um, okay, let's try it this way. Is this not snapping? All right. Okay, we're gonna demolish this wall. Because you know, why not? Um, we're going to put this here. This is why I should have the other one here, right? <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting there. All right, we're gonna put one here. We're gonna put one here because we're gonna need them. Right. Um. Live shows. This is where things get interesting. Right. 
let's do it this way. I know how to do this. Let's just do half of it. That's, that's, see, that's where I screwed up. That's where I screwed up. You want to put the wall here. There. That's, see, there you go. Now, now we're straight. Now we're tracking. All right, so now we can go with the, uh, come on. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting there. All right. We'll put this one down here too. There. Now we'll put one ceiling tile on top of here. Now we can do this. Still not gonna work. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, your Lord. Help me. Help me. Well, that's wonderful when you try to do a build and you can't get it to work like it worked the first time. Cause this ain't it either. Okay. Thing is now stuck. Can't take it apart. I'll be rebuilding everything. All right. Well, we'll start on this end. All right. We're gonna need this. I know we're gonna need Turn this into There's there. What? Are you kidding me? Did it go in the board? Okay. This thing is just not cooperating with me today. it whether it wants to be built or not all right so we're gonna have this this whoops wrong piece right. so that 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 Here. Okay, we'll just build it from the base up. So we get our half walls in place. So we have one up here, and we have one here. And then we're going to put in our little staircases. Let's take this one apart yet. Uh, no, I don't want to demolish it. I want to pick up that. Nope, still can't do it. All right, well, put a staircase here. Yep, and then one over here. Yep. Okay, now we're getting to the place where we can start seeing how this is going to go together. Okay, so then we're going to do a... Come on. Up there. Down there. Darn it. All right. See, now I'm now I'm getting <laughs> Oh Lord. Okay, so now we want to transform this into a doorway. This is what that was supposed to be. Once we get these in here, we'll be we'll be going. Um Can I get this one back now? Thank you very much. Can I have it? No. Nope. Come on. Let me do. Uh, 
Give me the stairs. Okay, getting there. All right, now we can put this stair here. Yeah, probably better to go from the bottom up. Half stairs. We're gonna place them right here this time. Yes. And now we're gonna do another doorway this way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ah, yes, this is awesome. That's not working. Oh, come on. Okay. This is really turning out pretty, pretty freaking bad. <laughs> you know what? I may just go get the other boat and set it up next to it. <laughs> See what we're doing here. Because this isn't working. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go get the other boat because this is silly. This is just silliness. All right, we're going to fast travel, so we're going to take everything out of our inventory, take our other stuff out. Okay. Uh, not wearing anything, right? Nope, just my undies. Um, let's go over here to the other boat that's already put together. Oh, what a difference this looks like. Okay. It's a bit of a train wreck, some people may say, but it works. So we're going to go over here and we're going to give you the grand tour real quick. So this is the deal. This is the same sloop. I just did the retrofit. I got a place in here. My bird. I got some storage. This is a modded fireplace, but you can put a regular campfire there. Um, I can get out this way, open up, and I can get out the front of the ship if I want to, to catch a box in the water or whatever I want to do. I can also go underneath of here and come up. Um, on this side, I've got my bed, a resource box, mortar and pestle, my sailor, sailor S, well, I guess, what, what do you call a, a, uh, a, a lady who's a sailor? Uh, a wave? No, that's that's not. That's in the army. I don't I don't know these terms, but a sailor person. There, I have my smithy underneath here, which is a modified one, but we can get one to fit. And uh, I have an ammo box in the back and a food lauder in here. So I pretty much got everything I need to get around. I have my diving platform that I was talking about that we need to sit in the center. My ship's wheel, my one sail. And a place back here for cannons, which I haven't put on yet because it was too heavy. I needed to be some levels in it. So we're going to go back and we're going to put this thing together. I swear. I have this little, you know, thing jutting out in the center on this thing just to protect my, uh, my person on the sails because I don't want her getting her head blown off or something. I don't know if that would really happen. But <laughs> why tempt fate? You already got to worry about your sail getting blown off by a cannonball. Um, I really don't want to have to worry about my person manning the sail suddenly disappearing in the middle of a battle. Or really in the middle of me trying to get the heck away from him. So even with all this weight on here, you can see I can I can still get this is pretty dead air tonight. Com C. I'm getting six and a half knots. If the wind was blowing, I'd get easily twelve and a half. Um which is plenty to get around. Whoa! Hello shark, you're as big as my boat. Uh but see those guys are not even gonna come over here. They're not gonna mess with me. If I go out there they'll come after me, but they're not going to mess with me just going past them. I, 
wish I could, I wish I could figure out where my bear went to. That that kind of bothers me. He just disappeared. I looked at the log. He's not dead. So he either flew, floated up into space or he ran after something and was wandering around the island somewhere. I can make a. We have a mod that makes a compass where you can find your lost teams, but I don't have the stuff over here to make it with. So. He'll have to stay lost for now, I guess. That is a little bit of a, a frustration with Atlas. If you're, you know, OCD. <laughs> maybe OCD, is that the right word? A A A A A D H D maybe is. Um, you're going to spend some time sailing from one place to another. Just unavoidable. They have put some things called trade winds in that we've been in some of the videos. It's kind of a, a light blue trail in the water. And if you get into trade winds, it blows you around the map a whole lot faster. So if you look at the map here, this is all the grids. The blue lines are trade winds. And if I can get into a trade wind, if I'm going to a certain place, um, the arrows of the direction it's going in, and it'll really speed my progress. But there's no trade wind that's going to take me to where I need to go. So that's not really helpful right this second but it does make a short trip i mean a long trip a lot shorter than it used to be before they put those in what we can do i haven't been over here yet i don't let's go over here and see what's over here why not because our, our goal tonight was to do some flooring and our first part of the mission has <laughs> Not quite turned out the way I thought it would. Uh, we'll get there. We're going to get there. I promise. We'll get there. Um, but yeah, this the way this boat is designed is it can take a hit. It's not it's not designed to be a battle boat. It's just not. I mean, I can make one. You can double up the armor on it and take the mining or the the uh, diving platform off and put a bunch more cannons on here and really make it into a like a ship of the damn killer i don't know what it would do with those guys out there with the black sails the ai guys they probably would because they work more like another player um so if you're in the pvp and you're playing on a server like this one that's pve that also has a ai pirates out there they they're not like the ships of the damn the ships of the damn are They'll mess you up, but there's they'll mess you up. Uh, <laughs> but there's tactics to take care of those guys because they'll they'll pretty much follow you if you get cannons on the back of your boat and you can kind of bounce your sails up and down. They'll keep following you until you just blow them up. The AI pirates don't quite do the same thing. Plus, they don't they take damage like a regular ship would. The AI guys, I mean the the other ones, the glowy guys. You can see their health meter going down every time you hit them. The AI ships, not so much. They take damage like I would. So their hull will start taking damage. And then as I blow their planks off, they'll start to sink. And then when I finally wreck their ship, they'll, they'll sink all the way down. Bad trip mess up. <laughs> I'm going to get some points. Yeah, Petra. <laughs> I don't know what's on this island. Could be very dangerous. I don't have anything to fight anything with. What is that? Oh, that's just a bird. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I can pretty much get right in here, though. Stop sails. Spin. Look at that. Like a glove. Okay. So. You see on my experience level, um, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, whatever level you hit, um, it says, sorry, you can't get any more levels until you go to more places. So right now my max level is 84. As I visit more places and get more discoveries, I'll increase my max level so I can level up my, my good stuff like health and stamina and weight and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so I am going to jump off here. What is that? Oh, that's a horse. Horses won't hurt you. I don't think. No, it's not. Horses won't hurt you. 
All right, come on. Parrot. My parrot's name is Phoebe. She hangs out with me. I made a discovery. Cassiopeia. What do they got here? Cassiopeia has... Ooh, peppers. I don't have any peppers. Peppers can make a bunch of cool foods that last longer. You eat them. What is this? What is this? Wild carrots. I got carrots back here, but okay. Um, what is this? You have H, and I can find out what it is. Sandstone. I got that back in my island. That's a bowl. He won't hurt me. Oh, there's lots of pepper trees. Okay. Uh, look at that. Onions, too. Man, this island's full of stuff. Maybe I should have gotten this one. Get rid of the other one. But, eh. Okay. What else is up here? Anything dangerous? What is dangerous? What kind of awesome things can I find if I look around? Certain death awaits. What's this? Elderberries. Okay. Uh, not seen anything dangerous yet. Ooh, pretty. Look, the sun's coming up. It's in this rock. Granite. I got granite. What's this? That looks different. What is that? Anthracite. Okay, coal. What's this? More anthracite. Okay, got coal. The 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 um the way you get better stuff in this game is instead of finding, well, I mean you can't find it, but you can build better stuff if you have more hey, it's raining at least i'm about thirst um ooh, that's a long way down if you have multiple types of okay so let's just say a tree so i punch this tree um i'm gonna get bark and i'm gonna get pine okay so that's the pine tree on this island uh another island may have oak trees and another island may have ironwood trees and the higher quality of item is made with more variations of that particular resource so if you want to make the really good stuff you need like five different kinds of wood and five different kinds of stone and five different kinds of metal and that kind of thing so that's how you upgrade your your goodies i don't see anything dangerous over here I can't be right. There's got to be something over here. I'm sure I'm going to get killed by something. But I'm not seeing anything. What are these flowers? Are they daisy? Chamomile! I needed that. I don't need that either. If I can survive this and not get killed, I can get it back to my boat. And then I can uh, take it back to my island. Um, H. No, oh, nope. Still the same old stuff. I should get my weapons out of my boat that would probably be a good idea but if i die i just got to come back and get them and then up oh, there's something that's partially knocked out up here so i'm betting there's a snake i'm betting what is that a mop sheep okay there's sheep over here is there snakes over here down to be the rattlesnakes are not as bad as the cobras cobras are big very big. What's this block? Radio. Look, I have that over there. I'm looking for other kinds of metal. That's that's really the thing that I've been looking for the most. This looks different. What is this? I get bit by some. Right, there's a pig over here. So what I could do is tame a pig. For some reason, the snakes don't like the pigs. They, they, they tend to leave the pigs alone. Oregano. Okay. There's all kind of cool stuff over here that I don't have. Yeah. 
These look like birch trees. I don't know if the birch is a thing on this server, but. Alright, we're going to dodge the snakes. We're going to put this stuff back on our boat. And uh, we're going to explore some more. So I'm thinking there's got to be some other kind of metal, but I need. I would like to have a weapon, please. Thank you very much. I wish I had my bear. Oh, weapon locker. Uh, we are going to put. Well, I'm not going to put armor on. I'm going to use my grappling hook in case I can get stuck somewhere. I get my bow. And some arrows. They're easy enough to replace if I lose them. And my sword. What else? I'm not digging anything. I'm not going to risk losing my good spyglass. Um, what else? Pick, pick, pick. Got to pick. Okay. Place that. Alrighty. I think. Let's take, let's take some bowls just in case there's something cool that I want to get. And then we're going to take a little bit of honey in case there's another bear here that we can get the bear. There's got to be something like the bears here. Um, let's dump some goodies off in here. I really don't want to lose all this stuff. Food lotter. And I'll put this stuff in here. Okay. How full are we? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're fine. All right. Um, this guy is a mod piece, but he fixed my ship. I told you that last time. Oh, I did find out something. Uh, Dax, you asked me uh, in the last thing, why didn't I use my guy to repair the ship while we were getting our butts kicked by that other those pirates? <laughs> and I said because they don't work except for when you're parked. But actually, I found out they do. The sailors will only start repairing your boat when you're parked. But those guys will actually start repairing it as soon as you um, stop. All right, Piggy Piggy. Um, we're going to get... So that's a 30 pig. Uh, let's see. I need some berries. Berries, berries. Just berries, nice kids. We're gonna give us a pig because you know why not? Um, they'll keep us from getting our snake on. The pigs are easy because they're passive tame, and you just walk up to them and give them berries or fruit or whatever. So let's get um, some strawberries in our. Come on, strawberries in our hot bar. There we go. And uh, let's do this. I get a horse. I have a bird. Yeah, bird's still in. Um, I get a horse, but I gotta have a saddle for him, and I don't have any stuff to make a saddle over here. So let's find a good pig. Oh, I saw a 30 pig over here somewhere. That's a 14. We're gonna do this. Let's get a good one. Is that the 30? I think that's the 30. Things you learn. I know, isn't it? Amazing. The things that you can pick up. She's like a silverback. Is this a male or a female? Come here. Give, take, take, take my strawberry. There, there's one. Oh, it's a female. Okay. If that really matters. I'm not, you know, it's, it's gender's just a gender. Uh, you, you, you do what you want to do and you be who you want to be. And if you can protect me from snakes I don't really care who you are or what you do um, come on the other good thing about these pigs is you can ride them without a saddle because that's that's why you know horses I can get a horse but all you gotta do is bowl of the horse and feed it just like I'm feeding this guy but then I gotta have a saddle and I don't come here take some more strawberries there one more strawberry two more probably is gonna do it I'm thinking um, is that a bear? No, it's a cow. Uh, come on. Come here, have another strawberry. One more. Okay, yeah, one more should do it. 
Sorry about the boat. I mean, it really, that's kind of annoying that it didn't work out right. But, oh, something's not happy over here. Oh, crap. Lion. Help! Lion. Lion. Oh, oh, lion. Where's my sword? Oh, thank you, crow. Ha! Huh. <laughs> That wasn't even my crow. Or was it my... Oh, you know what it was? Uh, it was my parrot. Right? Where's my parrot? Still on me? I think. Where's this? I, I probably screwed the tame up on this pig. Did it kill a pig? Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Uh, hurry up. There we go. We tamed it. Yeah, we're not going to name you because you're probably going to die. Um, come here. Carry me somewhere else. Pig. Alright, I gotta heal up. <laughs> uh, how come I couldn't get my sword out? That's weird. Um, alright. 